Hey guys! Today I want to talk about an issue that uh, is a very personal one for me and I've been dealing with for a very long time and I'm sick of it. I'm sick of having to deal with it. So I'm going to present it to you. Now you can deal with it. The issue is that society makes young women hate themselves. This is not a new concept, you all know this, everybody talks about it, and yet nothing is really being done about it. One of the main ways that society makes young women hate themselves is through the clothing industry and size expectations. Young women are expected to be tiny, we're expected to be slim and small and petite and definitely, definitely, definitely not overweight. That's why there are all these stupid diet programs and shake diets and this pressure to just not eat anything that you actually enjoy eating. Because of these expectations, when you go into stores that are aimed at young women and have clothes that are like fashionable for young women and that I would like to wear personally because they're cute, nothing fits me. And other girls around my size will know exactly what I'm talking about nothing fits. On the off chance that you can actually find something in your size, which pretty much never happens for me because I'm a size 16 and if I can find something over a size 12 it's basically a miracle, it still doesn't fit properly because it's designed for some kind of weird idea of a size 16 that still has small thighs and small boobs and tiny waist. What do you actually think a size 16 girl looks like? I'll be honest here, I'm not entirely comfortable with my body. But I don't hate myself for it anymore, and that has taken a lot of work. As a teenager, I developed an eating disorder, and I lost 30 kilos, um, and was a size 10, which is the smallest that I've ever been. And even then, I was still so miserable, because yeah, I was skinny, but I was also horribly unhealthy. And that's what society makes girls feel they have to do. In response to this problem of the fashionable stores only stocking small sizes, um, some other stores have sprung up that cater especially to real girls or curvy girls. And while this is great, there are two main problems with this. The first problem is that they charge a ridiculous amount for these clothes because they figure we don't have another choice, so we'll pay it. Meanwhile, the clothes are basically the same quality that you would get for $10 at Valley Girl. The second problem with this is, the whole time you're shopping there, you're aware of the fact that you are shopping at a store designed for fat girls. And it's this whole mentality of like, I'm being segregated and having to go to these special stores because I'm fat. My solution to this problem has been to start shopping at stores aimed at middle-aged women. I am 24 years old and those clothes are maybe not what I would like to be wearing, but they fit me properly, they don't charge a stupid amount for them, they're good quality, and I feel comfortable in them. I don't feel like I have to spend the whole time sucking in my stomach, or I don't have to like squeeze into them in the morning and then feel like I'm being crushed all day. They fit properly. They're made for women who have boobs and big thighs and hips and stuff. Also, when I walk into these stores, the ladies there don't give me funny looks or make me feel uncomfortable. In fact, they're really, really friendly and warm and helpful. Which is exactly the opposite to when you walk into, for example, Supre, where the girls basically look at you as though they're wondering why you're even there. I refuse to spend any more time in dressing rooms hugging at pants trying to get them up over my thighs and hating myself because of society. Being overweight doesn't make me a bad person, it doesn't make me unattractive, it doesn't make me stupid, it just makes me not skinny. It's time that the clothing industry opened its eyes and saw that most girls aren't supermodel thin. It's time they saw that bigger girls want to wear fashionable clothing too without having to spend a whole paycheck on one item. And most of all, it's time they stopped making us feel like absolute crap about our bodies. I'm over it, I'm completely over it, and I'm sure I'm not the only one. Now, I have very few subscribers, and it's unlikely that anybody in the clothing industry is going to see this video, but I guess 
I just wanted some girls out there to know that they're not alone, that I have felt the way that they feel, and maybe this video will make them go, yeah, do you know what, I'm not gonna hate myself anymore either. <laughs> really, this video would be worth it to me if just one girl watched it and thought, do you know what, being fat doesn't make me a bad person. I'm okay with it. I just don't want girls to have to hate themselves anymore. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it on your newsfeed or your Tumblr or anywhere you can think of to share it where you think that girls might see it. And don't forget to subscribe if you liked me. Okay, bye.